Hey everyone, we're here at the Cub Cadet booth. I'm with Aaron Griffith, and what is your title with Cub Cadet? It's a little bit long. So yeah, Mark, easier. thanks yeah. for thanks for uh, hopping on here. Um, I'm the national sales manager for our professional division, all the commercial products. So I'm okay. national sales manager for that. Yep. The last time I was here, you walked me through one of your stand-on units. So yes. You did a great job. I thanks. appreciate it. So if you have a few minutes to show us this new mower and show this is, is this out yet. It is going to be out in spring of 2022. Uh, we do have a lot of demo units out in the field that have been tested all summer. And um, our sales team has demo units now as well for the fall, building them in the winter time to be ready for spring. So okay. yeah, we're really excited about it. I'll take this and kind of follow you around yeah, now. Yeah, definitely. All right. What we did is we took our 900 series machine that we've been building for years. It's a top of the line machine that we have. Full air ride seat, 35 horse Kawasaki engine. Um, it's gonna be available on a 72 and 60 inch deck. Uh, but what we added was a GPS function. So this is actually the antenna for the GPS. And it's a very, very simple system to operate. So, so all you have to do is run it off this joystick. There's three buttons on a joystick. There's all these lights that kind of tell you what's going on about the unit, but to, to set it up and run it is very simple. You simply hit this button once, that's a GPS button. It sets an A point. Drive it wherever you want in the property. Do zigzags, figure eights, go to the bathroom. It doesn't matter. <laughs> go to where you want that B point to be, hit it again. That will form a line, an A, B point. Yep. And that line will go forever. So like we're here at the expo right now, right? Yeah. So if I set that line this way, right now it would go to the Ohio River all the way to the Tennessee state line. Oh, it wow. would know that line. Huh. So then you drive. At that point, you take the hands off the wheel and it will be three and three quarters inches of overlap at all times. Wow. So we did a lot of third party testing and validation with that. And we found that just in the overlap alone, that was gonna make the landscaper about 12% more efficient. Wow. But when you get to the end of the line and you're ready to turn, you simply hit turn left or turn right. It automatically engages our synchro steer technology on the steering wheel, makes a zero turn without tearing turf up, and goes right back on the other line. Huh. And that's, it's, that's all you have to do to make this machine work. So then what you're also gonna get is you're gonna get more efficiencies in the turning because you're not gonna have to make a Y turn and then it's just gonna lock right back on that line. So you're gonna be a lot more efficient with this unit, but then the end result, um, as you can see kind of in the background there is some perfectly straight stripes uh, that's gonna give really good aesthetics. So this system, it's not gonna tear the turf as easy as a regular lap bar zero turn? That's correct. Okay. Because this steering wheel technology, which we have on other units, um, that GPS is going to engage this steering wheel system and what happens is there's linkage that goes from the front wheels back to the transmissions. So the way I look at it is from the seat back, it's the same as a stick machine. But up front, now you're controlling it with a wheel versus sticks and it's making adjustments to the transmissions just like sticks would. So whenever we get it to 90, which the GPS system is going to do, it's already oh, over there. Yeah. Once well, really it gets start. to there, it automatically counter rotates the inside tires, which is what you need to do not tear turf off. So I have a question with this control, with this control right here, you push the button like right when you get to the stop or right before? Right or? when you want to turn, what you'll do, you, you, you kind of get a feel for it, right? It takes it a little takes, practice probably, to, right? Yeah, it takes a, you know, a couple of times to get used to the feel. And what you'll be doing is you'll be driving, excuse my dirty shoes, it's been yeah. dirty outside. <laughs> Um, but you'll be driving, say you're driving, and you're ready to turn left. What I do is I'll like lift my foot like this and hit the button, and then it automatically turns right there. Okay. So as soon as you hit that button, it is immediate that it will start to turn. Okay. So what are the, the pedals there, the two pedals? Yeah, this is forward. This is reverse. Okay. Um, actually, if you're operating this machine um, in an efficient manner, you'll never hit reverse. Okay. So, you know, a lot of times when you're using sticks, you're pulling them back to go into reverse because you're making your zero turns. Right, right. But with the way this works, where it engages the, um, the counter rotation, when you're driving it, you're just doing the forward pedal to, to make those turns. You never do have to do the reverse to, to do the Y turn. So the blue lights are coming on for the status. Yeah, so the, the light, the, it won't work because we're in the built in a building. Yeah, yep. But what happens is the antenna gives you a lot of feedback. So when you key the unit on, it'll flash blue. It's looking for, for connectivity. Okay. And then it'll switch from flashing blue to flashing green. 
that means it's now it's looking for satellites to lock into. When it goes solid green, that means that it has found the satellites it needs to connect to, and that is gonna happen in about 90 seconds. Okay. Okay, so the idea is you get off the trailer, you start doing the perimeter, um, the border, and it's looking for the satellites to connect to. And when you're done with that, you're connected, you're ready to mow. Now, if you if the GPS ever stops working, you'll see the status here red when it starts flashing red at you. Yep. That means that it's lost connectivity and you need to take the wheel back. Okay. So just as a is a thing. So there might be a few in. times where that happens you have to yeah, manually. It, if you get in a lot of really heavy tree coverage, yeah. Um, Blocking the satellites. Yeah, it'll block the satellites and yeah. it'll have to happen then. Yep. Okay. And then you have lights on this joystick as well. So how the lights on the joystick work is <laughs> when the GPS is working, the GPS light comes on. That means that GPS is functioning. Oh, okay. When you hit this button once, this line light will start to, it'll flash, meaning that you're attempting to set the line. When you set the line, it'll go solid green. Yep. And when it goes solid green, the auto goes solid green. Now, let's say we have to go around an obstacle, a piece of landscaping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to grab the wheel and mm -hmm. we're going to take it out of auto mode then the auto light comes off. You go around the obstacle, you hit the GPS button again, it locks back on the line, and then that light will come back on. So it's just it all giving you readings. Once you set it the first time, it automatically has those lines so you can do as much obstacle around Correct. trees, ponds, things like that. Yep, it will have that line in it unless you do two things. You key the unit off like we just did. Yep. Or if you want to reset it, maybe you want to do a diamond pattern or a checkerboard pattern. Oh yeah. You can hold this button down for a few seconds and it will clear out that GPS line. You can set a new one. Okay. Yep. And then the engine, that it's a Kawasaki. Yes, engine. Kawasaki yep. FX1000, 35 horsepower. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it runs the same 16cc pumps that we use on all of our 900 series, which means it does have 14 mile an hour top ground speed. Um, there I'd see striping roller standard. Oh, 14? Wow, that's yeah, fast. Yeah, that's yeah, we don't want you mowing that fast, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, for transport, yeah, right? Maybe like a football field that's like every Correct. couple days. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, the GPS is spec to, to hold straight at eight mile an hour. If you get it over eight mile an hour, it could get off a little bit. Okay. Yep. So we know it's about right for mowing. So just clarifying, if there isn't an option like another type of engine it would be like I know on some of the residential you could get Kohler or uh, Kawasaki. Yeah, on all of our commercial products, all we run is Kawasaki FX. Okay. Currently. On the residential, do you offer two or are they all Kawasaki as well? On the residential product, yeah. no. You, there's a mixes of Kohler okay. and Kawasaki okay. on those. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Here's a look at the Cub Cadet Sure Path website. You can get some information, and as you scroll down, you come across this video right here. It's a little over a minute long. It's very informative. Something that'll show you some examples of how it works. And if you look at some of these straight lines in this video, this is at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Look at those really nice straight lines. Very awesome. Here's a look at some upcoming mowers and the price. All right, so that wraps it up here at the 2021 GIE event. And Aaron, thank you very much for walking us through. Yes, thanks, Mark. Yeah. Thanks for coming by. All right, appreciate your time. All right, guys, thank you. that is a wrap.